I, I don't know that we've ever argued mm -hmm. about anything. So it's been uncommonly nice. Hi, my name is Tom Mays. And I'm Travis Branch, one of the owners of Local Insurance Advisors. We're based in Oklahoma. We have approximately 400 agents across 40 states. We specialize pretty much in anything in individual life and health. Um, our sweet spot is really in the Medicare space, so Medicare Advantage, prescription drug plans, Medicare supplements, uh, things like that. Well, one thing that's unique about us is we take a different approach to agent support. So, you know, yes, we're in 40 different states, but that's only with 400 agents. So we're not out to recruit 10,000 agents and hope they all sell three plans and then we make a bunch of money and 10,000 agents starve to death. That's not our business model. So we try to keep the teams relatively small, very strategic. That way we can over resource them so that they make more money, they make more sales, they're better educated, they're better experienced, they never want to leave, they are happy with us, they uh, just have successful careers. And I think we've been blessed to pick the right GAs to partner with mm -hmm. because they recognize that the model works and uh, they run the same playbook. So, I mean, we're not obviously not their bosses. We don't tell them how to do their business, but they do take the resources and the training and tools and stuff that we provide and they incorporate it in training their own agents. So we, we actually, Tom and I actually met, I guess in 2005, uh, when I was, we had a mutual friend we didn't know we had, and I was talking about getting the insurance business and didn't even know where to start. And he said, hey, I've got a friend that's doing it and killing it, uh, working, selling some work site stuff. And, and actually, he gave me Thomas number and I called him and said, man, you don't know who I am, but we got a friend that we both, a mutual friend. And I said, tell me a little bit of what you're doing. And you kind of explained it, gave me the manager's name. So we went to work for a company in Fort Smith, both of us did, and probably, maybe eight months a year after I started, um, Tom left and went to work for Humana. So that's during the big, the PDP, Medicare Advantage boom. And when he left, he called me, he said, man, he goes, you, you need to come to the Medicare is where it's at. That's that door knocking, you know, is, is, is tough. Come over here and do the, do the Medicare stuff. And I go, ah, I'm, I'm good where I'm at. So fast forward six, eight months, maybe, maybe that, maybe a year. And I kind of burned out on where I was at selling insurance and just thought, man, this, this isn't for me. Went back to manufacturing. Um, and Tom called me out of the blue one day at lunch and said, hey, you still got your insurance license? And I said, yes, sir, I do. He goes, we need to talk. And then from there, he hired me as an agent in, in Fort Smith under him as the manager. Um, and then worked the next 10 years together, just gets where you know each other and almost complete each other's sentences, travel together, uh, you know, raise our families together. So when I went to leave, it kind of made a natural there wasn't nobody else even considered than having Tom come with me. So I was able to leave a little, little bit earlier and kind of get it, get it started and get the groundwork going. And then when Tom came in, it just added the fuel to the fire. And like he said, we're, we're six years in and, you know, 400 agents in 40 states and, and growing. I had talked to several other large NMLs across the country and, um, and actually Mike Smith came to Oklahoma's heat and recruiting meeting. And this is probably late 2016 early 2017 probably early 2017 because that's when i was really looking at doing this uh and just just met him and he's a, he's a down-to-earth guy we had a great conversation um you know they're they're in our backyard i mean it's we can be at their office in three hours in oklahoma city uh so i knew they were were, were close you know local not local but close uh, so i started doing a little research on them and asking around and i couldn't find anybody said anything bad about them uh and i felt like they were a large national you know, company, uh, you know, uh, NMO, and I, but still small enough, I felt like I, oh, we matter, it's kind of a family feel, and you make a difference. So I went down uh, and met with, with Josh and some folks down there. Uh, since then, I've been working with Kristen and Cheryl and Josh and David and the whole contracting team and Mike. Um, and it's just, it's a, it's a joy. I don't know that we've ever asked for anything that they haven't been accommodating and done for us. Um, They've gone above and beyond and brought us in like like family, you know. And uh, the agents feel that as well. I mean, they, they love the upline, they love the team, they love the interaction, uh, the availability that they can call and, and talk to Mike or Kristen or Cheryl or David, call into the contract department with questions. So um, there's been not a not a second of regret that we chose to, you know, align with with the brokerage. In a parallel universe, I was the FMO sales director at Humana. So I traveled across the country meeting with all the NMOs and seeing their facilities and meeting their leaders and their capabilities and, and tactics. 
And uh, we had a national rollout one year, and coincidentally, I sat next to Mike Smith at dinner, and we hit it off immediately. So he's, he was just one of those guys that I said, this is a good guy. And so he's undergoing this thought process, and I called him, and I said, you need to talk to Mike Smith. And he says, I just did. And it was kind of funny that we both landed on the brokerage without actually discussing it. So we had our own thought pat patterns mm -hmm. and it, uh, it was the right move. It's great to have, because we're not life insurance experts. We're hard to stump on Medicare. I would say we're as good as anybody, but you know, long-term care annuities, some of those complicated life stuff, that's just, that's not our wheelhouse. We recognize that, uh, you know, I keep the brokerage hid when they've got a, a staff of people that are experts at that, that we can, they can go call Chris, you know, and, and I'll tell them, hey, they're going to help you build that that quote, they're gonna help you deliver that quote. And then when you sell it, that's that's 100% commission. You know, so why, why keep those guys hit out? And that takes a lot of lifting off of us. You know, when someone calls and asks me a question, I don't have to try to figure out how to do a long-term care quote. I go, you know what? There, let, me, let me get you connected to the person that can take care of that for you. And then we can go on about doing the things we do that, that grow the agency and, and support the agents at a level, you know, that we're comfortable doing. It was funny when I called Mike, and I just kind of quizzed him at that, uh, that rollout meeting. We had a few conversations and I, I called him. I said, I said, hey, I'm, I'm fixing to resign from, from my role. I said, I, I'm going to, you know, align with you. What's this look like? And uh, I think he kind of caught him off guard. He goes, so you're, 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 you're quitting Humana? And you're, I said, well, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm all in. I said, if, you, if you'll have me and this, this, you know, let's do this together. So uh, it's been, again, a great relationship. So couldn't be more happy.